Okay, everyone, so we're going to be looking at some optimization problems together. So in the first example, it reads that a man has 600 meters of fence. He wants to enclose a rectangular field with one side along a wall. Find the dimensions of the rectangular field of maximum area. So the first thing you want to do is try to extract useful information. So we have 600 meters of fence. That should immediately ring perimeter in your head, okay? And he wants to enclose a rectangular field, so rectangular. So now you know the, the size of what you're trying to, to, to achieve with one side along a wall. So you know that you have a restriction on one side of your rectangle, right? So find the dimensions of the field that gives you a maximum area. So immediately you know that you're dealing with area and you know you're going to have to optimize that area. But there are also dimensions. You have 600 meters, not meters squared. You have 600 meters of fence. So that means that you were going to, you're going to have to deal with a perimeter equation as well. So the first thing we want to do is draw just a little sketch just so that things are clear in our head. Okay, so if that's our wall, then this is the 600 meters of fence. So we have W, W, and L. Okay. So we're trying to find these dimensions of W and L in order to maximize this area in here. Okay, so let's, um, let's write out these equations. So area is equal to length times width, right? Everybody knows that. And the perimeter is a summation of all the sides of your rectangle. In this case, your perimeter has, is going to equal your 600 meters of fence so it's not going to include the side of the wall. It's just the side where the fence is going to go in. So we have a W plus an L plus a W, right? So that's 2W plus L is equal to 600 meters. Okay. So let's write this out. So let's say, so since we're going to be working with the area, then we have to ensure that everything is written in terms of our area. Now, because we're going to be taking the derivative to find the maximum, you need to make sure that everything is just in terms of one or one unknown, okay? So we're gonna use our perimeter to help us solve that. So let's say we use uh, the width in our area, right? So we have to substitute our length. So when we look at our perimeter, so perimeter is 2w plus l is equal to 600 meters. And if we want things in terms of l, it's going to be 600 minus 2w, right? So that goes in there times w. So let's expand that. So it'll be 600w minus 2w squared. Excellent. Now we have our area, sorry, we have the equation of our area. So in order to find the maximum, we have to take the derivative, right? The derivative of area in terms of W. So, well, let me write, write it here again. The area of W is 600 W minus two W squared. So remember when you take the derivative, um, you're going to multiply the exponent by the constant of that unknown, and then you're going to subtract one. Okay, so in this case, that's going to become 600, because it's w to the power of 1. So 1 times 600 is 600, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So the w goes away, and then minus 4w. Again, 2 times minus 2, and then you subtract 1. The 2 minus 1 is 1. So... In order to find the maximum, we have to set this equal to zero. And so if you just multiply this out normally, you're going to be left with W is equal to 150. And we know what L is equal to, right? From here, you can see L is equal to 600 minus 2W. So that means that L is going to equal 300. So now you have your dimensions. So now we need to take uh, the double derivative to confirm that is in fact the maximum area. So if we do the A of W's uh, double prime, we have to check what happens to the equation. So in this case, we know AW is uh, 600 
minus 4w, right? So if you take that double prime, so the 600 goes to 0, and the w is just 1, so now that disappears, so you're left with minus 4, right? And we know that when f double prime of x is less than 0, then this represents a maximum. And inversely, if this was greater than 0, then this represents a minimum. So because it's a negative 4, then we know that we received the maximum area.